Good morning from Jonesboro, Arkansas. February 27th, 2023, 8.42 a.m. I'm getting ready to go to the dealership, Central Chevrolet in Jonesboro. And I'm going to show them this paperwork that one of y'all sent me a link to. Thank you for that. Because I did a video saying that they told me this was not under warranty. This, this shift to park issue with the 2018 Chevy Volt. But if this, what you're looking at, is legitimate, and I think it is, then it is under warranty. I'm going to ask to speak to whoever deals with warranties, and I may ask to speak to the uh, head honcho. <laughs> we'll see. <clears throat> no matter what happens, I'll be nice. I'm never not nice when I deal with things like this. Not unless they get smart with me, and even then I'm usually, I usually do a pretty good job of calming down. Because getting angry does no good. And besides, it's not the employee's fault. Okay, here we are. I got back from Central Chevrolet, which you see right here. And it was a hassle. I carried in the piece of paper. They didn't seem to be impressed at all with that paper I printed out. I had my VIN number wrong. That was on me, so they had trouble finding it. I had to go to the car and get the registration and figured out I left off a three. <laughs> my fault when I wrote it down on that piece of paper. Again, like I said yesterday, the lady, I parked right here, backed up in this handicap spot, went right in there, right in there in the office and talked to him. The lady, she's not very nice. She's not mean. But, man, she's just not very friendly. I don't get the vibe that she gave a rip about my problem. The vibe I got was she couldn't care less. But she, I want to be careful. She was not rude. She just wasn't nice. And... There was a guy, and I assumed he was in charge. He was, he was pretty nice. He was pretty nice, especially after I started arguing my points. You know, and he told me, he said, this isn't covered under the uh, warranty. And I showed him the piece of paper where I had circled. Let me find it. Okay, I found it in my files. And anyway, I, I circled this with a pen before I went up there, right there. I circled that, it says, it says right here, specific to the model. And then I repeated that, specific to the Volt model, repairs are covered under the Voltec warranty. I said, if this is legitimate. I said that two or three times. You know, and I'm almost certain it's legitimate. But I just wanted to throw, I just want to tell him that. I said, it says here, and then he got really nice. He goes, oh, okay, okay. And then the woman who didn't care, or didn't seem to care, she said, well, first thing we got to do anyway is get you set up with a, um, you know, to look at it. What's that called? Diagnose it. And I said, I don't want you diagnosing it unless I'm for sure it's under warranty because the part cost $110 to fix. That's what I told her. It was actually 103 I just misspoke and didn't realize it until I was thinking about it later. But I told her, I said, the part cost $110 and I saw a mechanic replace it in 15 minutes. Your diagnostic fee is 160 I actually think it's 130 they didn't correct me if I'm wrong, but anyway, I said 160. I said, your diagnostic fee is 160. I don't want to pay that. If it's not going to be covered under warranty, if it's not covered under warranty, I got to pay for it, right? And I looked at the man. He goes, I'll work with you on that. Don't worry about it. I'll work with you on that. And I told him, I said, it won't be much of a diagnostic. You just put it in park and I'll say shift to park. And then he said, he said, yes, but not if it's not doing it all the time. And I acknowledged, well, that's true. That's absolutely true. But anyway, what a hassle. And first, the lady in that office, uh, the one who wasn't exactly friendly, she said, your powertrain warranty has expired. I didn't know it even came with a powertrain warranty. Evidently it does, five years or 60,000 miles. I said, it has a Voltec warranty, eight years or 100,000 miles. No, your has a powertrain, five years or 60,000 miles. I said, it also has a Voltec warranty. She didn't know what a Voltec warranty was, which don't surprise me. And so anyway, the gentleman, uh, he seemed like he at least cared. I was firm, showing them that paper, pointing to stuff, letting them know I thought they were wrong in a very nice way. And uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, I'm going up there Thursday to have them diagnose it. I better not have to pay $130, $140, $150 for a diagnostic fee. I better not have to. Matter of fact, if I thought I'd get by with it, I would just refuse. But I'm thinking they could probably keep my car. I don't know if they would push it that far. I think if I just threw a fit, they'd probably let me have the car and tell me just to get lost. I really do. But you know, and I'm not the type of person that likes doing that, though. But, oh, my gosh, I hope I don't have to pay this fee. I'm almost convinced it's under warranty. 
almost convinced, but can I convince them of that? Isn't there a phone number they can call? Isn't there something they can do? She said, if it was under warranty, it would have popped up when I punched in your VIN number. I'm like, well, I don't know what to tell you about that. Man, this, this is so fresh. I'd almost just pay to get it fixed myself. Would you? Would you possibly just pay to get it fixed yourself? I mean, I could buy the part for $110. I can't go any further. Buy the part for $110 and um, $103 plus tax, so $110. And then pay a mechanic, I'm guessing $50, maybe a hundred to fix it. So $200, but I'd rather be fixed by a Chevy authorized dealer, especially if it's gonna be free. So I guess I'll just take the gamble, you know, and hope that, uh, hope it's under warranty and hope they can figure out it's under warranty. Cause it doesn't matter if it's under warranty or not, if they stand by their ground and say it's not, what can I do? I don't know. Oh well. All right, what do y'all think? Comment, subscribe, thumbs up. All right, boy, I, I sure am rambling. <laughs> uh, come see me at my workplace. I'll be nice to you. Bye.